Hi everyone, I'm Dan Harding, Editor-in-Chief of Power Motor Yacht, and today I'm off the Chesapeake Bay, Maryland on the Genoa Leader 10.5 Series 2. Version 1 came out a few years ago, it was extremely popular here in the States, and I think the second one's about ready to take off. I'm going to show you a couple of features I like about this boat. Hop on. The previous version of the boat came only powered by 350 horsepower Yamahas. This one has the option of upgrading to the 425 horsepower engines, which should get the boat to around 50 knots. Juneau always pays a lot of attention to the entertainment spaces aboard, and I really like the versatility that the extra fold-down seating gives, and the proximity to the grill and the refrigerators. Another popular feature of this, that this boat borrowed from its larger sister ship, the Leader 12.5, is the fold-down gunnel to port. Now this can be used for anything from boarding the boat to cannonball to contests, with the latter being my favorite option. The real best seat on Asia Geno is the one behind the helm. Smart sized Garmin units, comfortable bolster seating, and even air conditioning makes this a spot that you're not going to want to give up without a fight. First and foremost, this boat is designed as a family boat, and again you see the versatility down below. For example, the table lowers into a berth, and there's plenty of space in the amidships cabin. This space could work well for kids and adult guests alike. My favorite upgrade on the 10.5 is the change they made to the sun pad area. They added this walk around that I like for a few reasons. One is that it's convenient, but two, it's a smart move from a safety standpoint. I always imagine kids or non-boating guests navigating the space and for them, less climbing and crawling is always more. On a bluebird summer afternoon, I spurred the Yamahas for a short yet efficient sea trial. While I would have been happy cruising the boat at 29 knots at 4,000 RPM, it brought a smile to my face to blast around around 48 knots at the top end. The hull is also new and exceptionally grippy all around made for a fun driving experience. Nicely appointed, plenty of power, upgraded fabrics and design elements, and even a more purpose-built hull. The Series 2 is a smart iteration of its sister ship, and I would not be surprised to see this boat have a long and strong second act.